all get rid of these people who are claiming to be Aboriginal or part Aboriginal, probably as white as what I am, claiming to be Aboriginal. What's that got to do with it? As far as I'm concerned, why should we do a treaty with other Australians? For what reason? You know, you can't tell me that Australians, uh, Aboriginal Australians that are here today have more right to this land than what I do. You, you treat people on an individual needs basis. This is what I've been calling for since 1996. And last weekend, it was a rude awakening to a lot of Australians who, had, who then, over a period of time, were awakened, awakened to the waste of money, the corruption, what they're intending to do to bring in a treaty macarata. That is a treaty. A treaty what, with their own citizens? Uh, that reparations were going to be paid? Or, you know, who else knows what they were going to do? Make seats in Parliament available to Aboriginals purely based on their, their race? That's what I said today. Get rid of the race-based policies and it should be clearly based on an individual needs basis. Then we'll get rid of these people who are claiming to be Aboriginal or part Aboriginal, probably as white as what I am, claiming to be Aboriginal. What's that got to do with it? it don't matter if you're black or white. You know, just... I'm sick and tired of hearing this. You know, we are all Australians. Australians all need. We've got 30% of Australians who are actually living in poverty and struggling, homeless. Why don't we look after them also? Treat them in the same as what we consider the Aboriginals. Uh, a Labor government will always look for ways in which we can provide assistance to those in need. We'll do so, of course, though, in a context. Uh, the context here is we don't want to add to any inflationary pressure. Aboriginals have to take responsibility for their own actions. They have to take responsibility for the domestic violence, for the drug and alcohol abuse, for also the sexual abuse of their children. It is not the fault of every other white Australian to wear this brunt that they're trying to blame us for. Take well, responsibility for their own actions, their own communities. And I think words are unnecessary, but I want to give you a standing ovation. <laughs> There it is on this issue because I think this is where this debate is, is, is heading. You're going to have the coalition parties opposing the Uluru statement, not just the voice that's been and gone, but the whole shebang and Labor trying to fund some way to support it. So it's going to be fascinating and it's going to make sure this division goes on a bit longer than we anticipated. Just briefly, before I let you go, a bit of breaking news. I want to get your comments on this. A tweet from your party today talks about Fraser Island, now known as uh, Kigari, saying that uh, the naming of that island to the Indigenous name um, should be rescinded. It should go back to Fraser, Fraser Island. Just quickly, your argument for that? Chris, why now, after this period of time, um, that we're going back to Aboriginal names, you know, and they're talking about changing the name of Brisbane? What for? You know, Australians, tourists, it's known in the world as Fraser Island. Why are we changing it to a name that most of us don't even know the language or wouldn't even remember it? You know, I just feel it's pointless. Mm. It's about time. The Aboriginals, you know, you're not 65,000 years ago. <laughs>